Hello YouTube, my name is Vincent and welcome back to another math video. Now I know I said I wouldn't be doing until I get specific likes, but I was looking through my books I have and the calculus book I am currently doing, the link will be down below to my blog and go visit the um math page and you will find what I'm doing there, but I was searching through that book and I found the Putnam exam challenge. I couldn't wait to do it, it looked so fun and I managed to do it because I didn't even put NAM. I hope I said that correctly, but anyways, what we're gonna be doing now is solving actually it's not solving, we're gonna be proofing proving something. But anyway, something so let's get into this so put an exam challenge and this is my first put in video so let's get into the actual problem so we have let uh, x sub n now x sub n is a sequence so let x sub n where n is greater or equal than zero be a sequence of non-zero real numbers such that and then we have this, so it basically means, okay, let me continue, so this for n equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on. So what this means is basically we need to find a, a sequence that satisfies this. So the next thing we'll do, who? is we are going to be looking at the question. So, prove that there exists a real number A such that... Uh, and then we have uh, another one right here. And sorry, this is x times x sub n. This is a times x sub n. It's not a sub x sub n. Sorry, I wrote that incorrectly, but... Hope you can see it. A times x. So it's basically a times this. So and it's not a sub. So a times x sub n minus x sub n minus one for all n greater or equal than one. So. Hope I said that correctly. And so, first step is to do is, like what I said here, find a, a sequence that satisfies this. So, 4n equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, there may be function that satisfy, but maybe for the negatives. Right? So, so it's important to say that for n equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's obviously going to be x sub n equals n plus 1. And that's super simple. And let's check if this satisfies for now n equals 1. But what I want you to do, guys, is do it for 1, 2, and 3 and see if that satisfies. So, so basically we have our we have this. And we're basically going to be... Now, before I continue, you have to know about your sequences. So, you might want to go do some research right now, or do sequences in general. But if you already know sequences, good. If you don't, you might want to do some research about them. So, after you've done that, you're now going to rewrite this. To avoid confusion and now we basically plug in n so it's x sub 1 okay so and that would be 1 plus 1 equals 2 x sub 1 equals 1 plus 1 and now we're equal 2 so we basically plug in all everything we need here and you should end up with 4 minus 1 times 3 equals 1 and that will be 1 equals 1. So it satisfies. Now, let's look at this. So it would be 
3 equals a times 2 minus 1. Again, by plugging in what you need. So it would be 3 equals a times 2 minus 1. And then it would be, so it would be 4 equals 2a. One goes to the other side, it adds with 3, so 4 equals 2 times a. And then we divide a, we divide 4 over 2, so we get a equals 2. Alright, and now we need to plug in our a to this, and we will get 3 equals 2 times 2 minus 1, which is 3 equals 4 minus 1, and 3 equals 3, and that's it! See, a is a real number, and there exists an a. Such that, and that's our satisfaction. So, 3 equals 3. So it satisfies. So what you can say is that there exists a real number a such that and a is your 2 and it satisfies. So hope you enjoyed this video guys and that's pretty much it. So hope you enjoyed the video. Oh don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and leave a comment if you want for more amazing content and uh, you don't even need a calculator for this it's amazing so hope you enjoyed the video guys and i'll see you in the next math video